Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am Bert the Stormtrooper and this is the home of That's Just Prime, the comprehensive Optimus Prime review series. I also review other Transformers, lots of G1 stuff, as well as Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Ghostbusters, GoBots, and pretty much any other toy that may jump out of me. I also do the occasional arcade and pinball machine videos, unboxings, blogs, challenges, and miscellaneous videos where my daughter usually makes fun of me. Those are a lot of fun. If you're new to the channel, thanks for checking me out. Please be sure to click that subscribe button and don't forget to give me a thumbs up and share if you like what you see. Autobots, roll out! Hello and welcome to That's Just Prime and today we're going to be taking a look at the Transformers Studio Series 44 Jetwing Optimus Prime and I love this toy. Released in August of 2019, he is available right now as of the time of this recording and he retails for approximately $50. So Optimus Prime here, this is the same Voyager Studio Series Prime that we got with Studio Series 32. It is a Voyager Prime, but he is listed at the leader class price point because he comes with the trailer. So the Prime itself, the, the detractor part of the toy here is going to be the exact same that we saw. Well, nearly the exact same that we saw with Studio Series 5. It got retooled some for Studio Series 32. That is what we've got here. This is just straight up repaint of Studio Series 32. It's got a little bit of uh, brighter colors. It does have the, uh, the, the gold streak on the hood here, which is really nice. Very nicely detailed. But other than that, other than just a couple of paint touch-ups, it's the exact same Voyager that we got with 32. What is different here is the trailer, and the trailer is really neat, although I'll have to admit it is a little lacking in the paint department, but the truck mode, once again, is going to be about 7 inches long, about 2.5 inches tall. The addition of the trailer is going to come in with 8.5 inches in length, 3 in uh, height, and it's going to give us a combined length of about 13 inches. So, you know, once again, we're just going to be concentrating on the trailer with this one because we've already seen this figure twice. So, again, the trailer is really cool because it does a lot of things. This is a weapon storage. It is the jet wing and it is the ring to hold all of the weapons as well. The way that we saw it in the Dark of the Moon movie, which is really, really cool. But like I mentioned earlier, it does leave a lot to be desired in the paint department. So we'll go ahead and just pop this off. There's a peg right there. And then, yes, this will absolutely work with the other two figures. I will set that guy off to the side. And we'll continue looking at the trailer. So, again, the trailer. I really like the design of this trailer. I love everything that this trailer do. Uh, the trailer does. But it is uh, lacking in the paint department. You'll notice that the whole thing is just this unpainted gray plastic. It's like the entire budget went to the figure. And, yes, the figure got a a new paint job, but uh, I don't feel like the figure really needed that much of a, a development budget. Uh, they just kind of left whatever was left over for the trailer and they didn't paint it, which is a real shame because this thing is so cool. A silver paint job would have gone a long way. The vehicle, the truck mode had silver paint on the wheels for the truck, but then for the trailer, these are unpainted, which is a really bad contrast. So I may take uh, an airbrush and just uh, do it myself because uh, it's a real shame that this thing is not painted. Maybe give it some silver paint for the whole box and for the wheels. Maybe give some black detail here. These weapons down here on the on the art were shown as silver with black tips. So, you know, kind of do a little bit of that. But anyway, there's the trailer. It rolls nice. And again, here's another thing that kind of bothers me. The back wheels do roll freely. These front wheels here, these are molded and this does not turn. So when the, we when the trailer rolls... You're only getting the back wheels to roll, which is a real shame. So again, it just it just seems like they were almost there with the trailer and then just kind of abandoned it when it came to the paint stage. And it really just kind of kills the trailer. It's a real shame because it's such a cool trailer. A lot of detail. You can see all the paneling. You can see the stripe. You can see the Autobot logo actually molded into the sides of the trailer. The doors themselves got a lot of nice detailing there. So yeah, really, really cool trailer. The refrigeration unit in the front. Uh, could have done with some paint. But let's get on to transforming this guy, which is really cool. We're going to do a, a couple of things with this guy. So the first thing we're going to do is reach down here to the bottom and pull these two weapons off. And these are probably going to be the last two that I'm going to show, but um, with the figure anyway. But I'll show you these real quick. So again, in the, in the artwork or in the package pictures, these were uh, painted silver. 
and then these tips here were all painted black which looked really cool so again unpainted plastic could have used a little paint here we'll set these off to the side and then we'll get started on this guy here so the first thing we're going to do is just kind of start separating the sides of the trailer here you notice that there's a uh, some tabs here and some slots on the side here and you notice that released right away the whole top of the trailer so we're just going to get in here and remove this part some of the weapons inside are probably going to pop out while we're doing this so this whole section here we're going to just set that off to the side we'll take a look at that later we do have some weapons in here that we can start uh, pulling out let me put this one back in place so you can see where that one was stored so you'll notice right away we've got the weapon for optimus right there uh, you don't see it just yet, but there's an axe down there here in the front or rather in the back bottom is the shield And then we've got a sword over there So we'll go ahead and start removing these so this one here is again The normal blaster that comes uh, that you usually see Optimus Prime with it's the same one that the Studio Series 32 came with so you can give them that one and uh, there you go You've got Optimus with his weapon right there and we'll set him off to the side and we'll take a look at some of the other stuff so right here is the shield set that one off to the side we'll show him with all the weapons here in a little bit reach down here and unpeg the axe so there you go got this axe right here again all unpainted the only one that did get a little bit of paint is this next one right here this is the sword and that one got a little bit of let me try and focus that in there you go so that one did get a little bit of paint but that's it all right moving on continuing with the trailer so we're going to go to the back of the trailer open these doors up and you notice these tabs here continue to separate these sides and this whole back piece of the trailer or the top piece of the trailer is going to rotate down come on down here and you'll notice that there's a couple of slots right there and right here so these doors are going to tab into there and it's not one of those like friction tabs it's really more there for support than anything else come around to the other side take the wheels these are also tabbed in there and there untab those and then the whole base of the wheels is going to come down snap into place so that is going to allow us to start opening up the actual trailer ring and bring the camera up some so these half moon or half circle support pieces here these are tabbed in right there so we're just going to untab those and it's going to start getting a little tricky and difficult to show on camera so i'll do my best here so now all these panels are going to start opening up just like this and then these pieces are going to rotate and let me see what's the best way to show this so there's there's slots here on these rings and then there are some tabs along the sides of the trailer and some of these panels there 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 and there so you're just going to kind of work your way around to tab each panel into its part of the ring right there just like that same thing on this side, we're going to rotate this one and start tapping everything in. Get that one. Like I said, it's going to be a little tricky to show on camera. I'm trying to look at it through the camera, which makes it difficult for me to see. So there you go. So there is the weapons ring all ready to go. The weapons ring is going to be approximately eight and a half inches tall. So take that into consideration when you're planning your display. And now we can start loading up all of our weapons. And we've got a couple of options here. So real quick, before we start doing that, let's give Optimus some weapons um, options here. So we're going to take the, uh, the gun that he just had. And I'm going to set this one right there in the center, I think. Yeah, that'll work. So next, let's do some melee stuff. So we had the shield. And unfortunately, there aren't any pegs on the side. Uh, it would have been nice to have a peg hole there on the side that he could maybe you know underneath the the panel there so we can put it right there something like that i think would have been nice but they didn't give us any of that so as it is he's just going to have to hold the shield in his fist just like that uh which works well enough i guess you know we'll bring that down a little bit so we can see prime and then we can give him some melee options here so we'll give him a sword and you can see what he's going to look like with the sword and the shield and again not not exactly the same effect that we got in the movie with the sword coming out of his fist or even with studio series five where the sword actually did look like it was coming out of the fist like that but you can use these swords from studio series five and you can use them on this guy as well so you can always do that uh, the only thing about that is that those that those swords are not going to work on the on the ring itself so we'll set the sword here and then we've got the axe as well 
So we'll take the ax and uh, I like to slide it halfway down just like that. And I think that looks pretty good as well. So there you go. So you got a couple of options for weapons and you got a couple of options for melee weapons. So firing weapons and melee weapons. There you go. So we'll give, we'll take all of these off and uh, we'll go ahead and store these on the ring as well so let's see i like to put the sword up here there's a little sideways tab up here or diagonal tab so that'll work up there and then there's one over here so you can put it over here as well and then there is let's see so this can work here and actually i think i was putting my shield over there actually yeah i think i like my shield over here because it's got the little tab there and then this gun I can put it up here. There are, as you can see, there are pegs and tabs all over. So you can kind of move it around to whichever way looks best to you. Now, finally, the other two weapons, these here, I'm going to save these until we've got the jet wing. I like to put use these with the jet wing mode. So I'm going to go ahead and just for now, go ahead and store these. Uh, let me see. I think I'm going to put them like this. And there you go. And again, you see very, very cool display piece here but missing a lot of paint. So a lot of this stuff just kind of gets lost because all of the weapons are the unpainted gray plastic. So is the ring. So a lot of this detail is getting lost in here and you've got all these weapons on display, but they're all kind of getting lost in, in their own background, which I think is a real shame. A little bit of paint would have gone a long way with this. So that's enough harping about the paint. That's really the only, my only complaint with this whole set here has been the paint on the trailer. The paint on this guy, absolutely awesome again i mean look at the silver on these wheels the gold everything i love the paint on this guy but the trailer they just kind of left it and it's just kind of a shame so moving on to the top piece here so we're going to take this these uh, wings are tabbed into the top right there so we're going to unpick those and they can be a little tight and then we're going to open that that is going to allow us to bring this down there's a tab and a slot right there so that's going to come all the way down tab right there there, there is a double hinge here. We're going to turn this, and then this slot is going to this slot is going to go into this tab up here. That's going to peg in right there. Take the shoulder pieces, bring these out, go around to the back, and then take the wings here and rotate these. And these are also going to tab in right there. There you go. Tab that and tab that, and there is our wing pack ready to go. This thing can get wide. So we've got some hinges here so the wings can do that. And you saw that in the transformation portion, they can do that. And they also have these hinges here about halfway around the wing. So you can do all kinds of crazy folds with the wings. Maybe when you're working on your display or just playing around with it or whatever the case may be, you got, you got some stuff that you can do with the wing chair. So now let's get Prime ready for his wings. We'd have to do a little bit of stuff on him as well. So we're going to go to the backpack and we are just going to rotate these up untab the top piece of the backpack and bring it down and then we're going to take these panels and once again we're going to bring them around so that the smooth side is facing straight back and there is there is an angle you're not going to want to go flat like that there is a little bit of an angle you don't want to come all the way up either it's somewhere in between and the best way i can describe this is you're going to have to do it by feel when putting the backpack on you kind of have to feel your way around because we have to do a couple of things here and this is probably going to be impossible to show on camera but i'll do my best so uh let's see what how can i show this so this these hook pieces up here on the backpack they need to slot if you look at this panel on the back of prime there's a little notch cut out of them so those hooks need to hook in right in there and then we've got these two tabs and these two tabs and those are going to peg in on these two and on these two and then finally, these panels, they're going to kind of uh, finagle their way to you see where this tab is. So these panels are going to lay flat here in between these three tabs here. So again, a lot of this is going to be done by, and of course, the shoulder straps are going to sit on top of his shoulders. So what you want to do first is get those hook pieces right in there and then get, see how you get that panel flat in there? And you really just kind of have to feel your way around, getting the panels flat, getting the hooks in place, while at the same time reaching underneath it to get those tabs in place. And again, the angle is going to play a big part of this. 
So it's, like I said, some of it is going to be done by feel. They're almost there. And I, I, I loosened up the pack, which is just as well. I'm just going to work with it this way, hoping that it'll show on camera. There it is. That's all tabbed in. So now all I've did is these two tabs here just came off the grill part there. So I'm just going to bring that back down, tab it in place. And then just bring them around. That is it. There is Optimus in his jetpack mode. And we'll go ahead and let's do this. Let's get the ring out of the way. I am going to reach into the ring and I'm going to pull off these two guns. And I was hoping he wouldn't fall, but he did. So we'll just work with it. This is a, a challenging figure to show off here. So there's our Jetwing Prime one more time, and we're going to give him his weapons. Uh, let's see, which way do I like to go with these? I think I like to go this way so they look like the hands are covered. No, let's go this way. There is a left and a right weapon, so you kind of have to just remember which one goes on which. And I like to use these two for the uh, jetpack. They, they kind of reminisce a little bit of the underslung weapons that he actually did have in the movie, or that the big Jetwing Prime had. So there you go. There is Optimus Prime with the Jetwing pack. And this looks really, really cool. Let me see if I can work the ring in here. There you go. So there's there's the whole set. And that looks really, really cool. So Prime here did not gain any height. He is still about six and a half inches tall. However, you do have these little boosters sticking up here on the sides here. So that's about another inch. So maybe seven and a half inches tall. Uh, now the wingspan, impressive wingspan. He's gained a wingspan of about 15 inches. So it gets really, really wide. So again, for display purposes, you're going to want to have to, you know, really think about what you, how you want to set this up. You can uh, fold the wings up like that if you want to give it a little more room. That also works. And then you can also... Uh, kind of fold these back. Prime will stand inside of the ring. Um, easier done without the jetpack. I sh should have probably done that before I put the wing, wing pack on, but this can be done. So you have to straighten out his legs so that his legs will fit in there. And uh, there you go. He will fit inside of the ring, which is very, very cool. So again, there's another display option for you. And I'm going to cheat a little bit and put him up against the back of my wall. So there you go. Very, very cool. Let me get him out one more time, and we're going to do a couple of quick comparisons here. So we'll get him standing straight, and open the wings all the way. And for a couple of real quick comparisons, here he is with the classic animation Siege Optimus Prime. So you can see they're going to be about the same height. Again, just Voyager class, just the addition of the trailer itself. And then here he is with uh, Studio Series 5, the first version of this figure. And we discussed this in the Studio Series 32 review where this mold just got um, retooled uh, quite a bit um, from this to this. And then this just so that it would work with Jetfire and then later was going to work with the trailer and the weapons ring. So we'll set this guy off to the side and then we'll bring in Studio Series 32 combined with Jetfire so you can see the difference here. Um and you can see what these guys look like together. In fact, why don't we do this? This will be fun. We'll set these guys back just a little bit. And then we'll get this guy right here in the front. That looks really cool. So you can see all three iterations of this figure and what they're all going to look like together, which is very, very cool. So, yeah, really cool set. I really like it a lot. Uh, really. Um, and, and I've harped a lot on, uh, on this about the paint which is really my biggest gripe. The trailer, so the figure, again, the Studio Series figure is just such a cool figure. It's such a detailed and, and near perfect Voyager size movie prime. It's a really great figure. And this trailer is really cool. I love everything that this trailer does. All the weapons that it comes with, the way the weapons work, the actual ring, the way they integrate into the ring, the fact that Optimus actually fits in the ring, and that half of the trailer transforms into the jetpack. Everything about this trailer is so cool. They just kind of skimped out on the paint, which really kind of puts a damper on the whole thing. But other than that, fantastic, cool little set here. So I think that about does it for Studio Series 44 Jetwing Optimus Prime. What did you think of this figure? Let me know by leaving me a comment down below. Give me some thumbs up, subscribe, and share with your friends if you like what you see. And I'll talk to you next time on That's Just Prime.